is up guys it is the red stone scientist here and today mojang released the snapshot 15w34a and with it come three new or rather changes to or additions to command blocks and uh today i am not going to be showing you the details of how they all work because uh there are plenty of other videos to do that and uh but i am going to show you a something that a lot of people aren't focusing on which seth bling discovered in his live stream uh, after receiving some tweets from Sarge, and basically that change mean uh, there is has always been a powered tag on the command block, but it used to be just part of metadata, I believe, and now it is actually part of the block data. And uh, let me show you how that could be useful. Okay, so let's change this to a repeat, and we will do uh, say whoops say start. Okay, and it is pointing this way, so now we will place another one, and this one will be a chain, and let's get one of those in our uh, hotbar. So now this will be, say, hi, and say two, let's change that to one, say one, say two, say three, say four, and say five. Now, as you already know, if you are watching this video, you should know how these work, basically, um... When I activate this, it will just do start. Now, if I activate this one, it will say 1. If I activate this one, it'll say 2. If I activate this one, it'll say 3. I could do 2 and 4 and 5, just like so. So it, uh, the chain can move on even if the command block is not powered, but it does, in order for a command block to actually execute, it needs to be powered. Now, uh, you may be thinking, well, now I have to, you know, it, it doesn't really save a lot of space. Well, it does, now that we have this, uh, that Powered is back in this thing, I guess you could say, uh, in the game. So, uh, none of the command blocks are powered right now, so only Start should be happening. In fact, let's just make this nothing, okay? Okay, great. So now, instead of actually having to power them, we can use another command, or we could just do it in the chat, to change the block data of this one right here. Block data, negative one, powered, lowercase, one B. And that will turn it on. Now, uh, I want to stress that what does not work is, let's say we have this on repeat, and we do say hi, and we do uh, powered one B. That doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. It seems to only work on the chained command blocks. And now, this will actually continue to work even if we change what the command is. Which means that that kind of an update will not uh, affect it. Because it will continue to remain, as you can see, the data tag did not change, remain as powered. Now the only way to change that is when you give it a actual block update. Like so. So now you can see that it is not working. So, basically, what does this mean? This means that you can have... Uh, let me set up a quick example. Let me take a uh, repeat, or let's just do an impulse, okay? And we'll take one of these, and this will be, say, one, and we'll grab this command block. Whoops. Grab this command block. Okay, so it'll go around like this, and we'll have it go this way and this way, snake all the way back around, it'll go up, it'll go back around this way, and so forth. We can just keep going like that, but uh, what this means is that we can power these without actually having to then put command block, we can power these selectively. So let's say all of these have different commands, we can select which ones we want to power, not just by using a whole other command block setup to say, okay, put a redstone block here, put a redstone block here, and remove a redstone block here, remove a redstone block there, and so forth. You don't have to do that. What you can actually just do is just change it uh... Oh, right. Repeat. Is just change it like so. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> Let me try this. There we go. Yeah, I think I messed up the chain somewhere. But anyway, as you can see, it actually does work. Let's change this to two, like so. So there you can see, 
uh, that is how you can power command blocks without actually using a power source. And that is, so as long as you don't touch your command blocks, this can be super useful because you can have a grid of command blocks like, uh, I'm not bothering with the arrows, but let's just say you have a, a grid all interconnected like this that is a 3x3, three three, okay? Now, normally, you would not be able to access the command block that is right in the center, this one right here. But with this new thing, you can use the block data command either from your chat or from another command block in order to be able to power that and activate the command. So that allows you to reach nooks and crannies you were not able to reach before. But anyway, that is all I have time for today. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment, or better yet, hit that subscribe button. Make sure to check out the jam-packed description for more science. I will see you next time. And of course, thanks for watching.